Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about overthinking. Mmm, have you ever done that in your life? Have you ever overthought something and maybe you started to think yourself into anxiety or think yourself into paralysis or think yourself into regret or depression, anything like that? I can relate. <laughs> That's why I'm making this video today. Uh, this video comes out of uh, obviously my own experiences they often do um, I realize for myself uh, you know I've been trying to or not trying to I have been getting back on track creating habits after uh, my vacation took a couple weeks off of lifting of dieting all these different things and then getting back in the flow in a routine um, it's been an interesting process because I definitely grew a lot from the festival that I went to it was a huge release of stuck energy and I just feel so free and grateful and loving connected with other people so how does this all relate to overthinking well I had this uh, I guess realization or moment of reflection yesterday as I was getting back into things and I was like gosh where do I start what do I do and in reality I already know what to do I've been working on it I've been doing these things and I've caught myself that I was starting to overthink things so what did I do and when in doubt just take some action and move forward so we just pull out the tripod we put the phone on a little tripod right here we get the little microphone set up and we just start taking action and so I realized that this is a common thing for so many people um, there's so many different threads and reasons I think why people overthink and so the intention of this video is to expound on some of these reasons and behaviors that we do in order to prevent ourselves from moving forward overthinking is obviously one of them so the first thing that comes to mind is how do we know if we're overthinking or if we're strategically planning well I would say this if you have a plan in place for a goal that you want to achieve and it's been sitting around in a while and you're like well it's not quite perfect yet I gotta iron out these details iron out these details and then these I think the reality is you're overthinking it already and you've been ready to take action for a long time and then that starts to go into the realm of self-sabotage you're thinking yourself into paralysis right the old analysis paralysis so if you're on that thread where maybe you've been planning something for a long time uh, and you just haven't gotten started well you're probably overthinking it and you just need to take action do the first step film your first video write that song release it online whatever the case may be uh, it's funny a, an example that pops into my mind too happens to do with my best friend he's been working on uh, producing music and being a DJ uh, for a while and he's actually getting really really good now it's been god like seven years in the making or something and i can remember when he first brought home turntables or he came home with the epiphany that oh my god this is my passion i want to make music and he ended up buying turntables and getting started and it was obviously not good <laughs> but now he freaking crushes these mixes a lot of the songs he's starting to make are really good uh it's absolutely fantastic and recently i think uh, when I ventured off and so doing my personal training business my online business we were having lunch and me and his girlfriend both were like dude like when are you just gonna start playing venues like when you like you're good you're good enough dude like you're overthinking it and then lo and behold I bring this up because today it kind of fell in his lap we went out on Friday and met these uh, really cool people and one of the people that we met uh, is a DJ for some local venues and just hit him up out of nowhere and said hey you want to play at this venue tonight uh, it's called vibes downtown in San Diego um, never been there it doesn't really matter I think the point is he was overthinking it and then lo and behold no coincidence we both get back from this festival we're wide open deliver universe let's bring it and he gets this opportunity that falls right into his lap but for a while he was overthinking it and he uh, his girlfriend and I were both pushing him like dude it's like time to get it moving bro like let's do this so the other side of that is are we doing too much planning and do we just need to act well I would say that is more common than the other side and the other com the other side of it is having no plan and just diving in with absolutely no plan and then learning the hard way and and you know what they think the reality is is that more people just took that approach and in their mind oh I'm being reckless or like I'm not ready yet and they just went for it they would find out that they're actually overly prepared and maybe that what they thought or their expectations of what it would be like to embark on their journey is not what it is at all I think a lot of the times and I'm sure you can relate to this when we move forward we start pursuing a goal we start doing something it doesn't 
turn out or it isn't like we initially made it up to be in our mind because the reality is the best teacher is experience so maybe have a little bit of a baseline plan and just jump right the fuck in and get in there because chances are what you're planning for you don't really know if you've never done it so it's probably not what you're initially expecting so by just jumping in and going for it you're creating a routine you're overcoming some fear you're taking action and you're learning on the fly you will adjust and in my mind I feel like this is the best way to progress anyways because if you jump right in and you make a mistake, well, who cares? Because you know what? You didn't foresee it coming and you wouldn't have known unless you were taking action and getting into it. And then the reality is you're actually saving yourself a lot of time and energy because you jumped right in, you failed, you learned exactly what you needed to learn in order to progress to the next step. If you're just sitting back and planning or you take like a little, you know, toe in the water, you dip your toe in the water, okay cool and then you oh man I gotta go back to the drawing board it's like no you don't just keep going so why is this important because I think so many people at least in my experience and I've, I've dealt with this whoa okay that's my my little doggy there I'm heard when, sometimes when my neighbors open the door their dogs come out triggers my dog so anyways back to the topic at hand uh, as far as overthinking goes I think what we often need to do is just take a deep breath and relax, look at our plan and if we have a base plan in line, just go and take action and don't overthink it. I think uh, overthinking is a way to self-sabotage as well, made a video on self-sabotage and why we do it. Uh, I think um, by continuing the plan you're just delaying the uh, progression of what you want to do but it's just really you self-sabotaging yourself in a way to keep yourself in a small little bubble and keep yourself safe um, so that you don't get hurt you don't fail you don't mis make mistakes all these different things and all the beliefs that come along with that so if you're someone who tends to uh, have a lot of anxiety or you're really stressed or you sit there for you know God knows how long and you just try to plan and plan and plan Try doing it the other way, the other extreme. I think that's a good approach to a lot of different things. Whatever way you're doing it, try doing it the complete opposite way every once in a while. When you do it the complete opposite way, I think you'll be surprised at what you learn and what you find out. Uh, and in the end, the other part of it is it's so freaking liberating. Like right now, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, man, uh, I need to get back in a routine and make content. I need to like do these things. I need to reach out to um, you know new people, start conversations for my business, all this stuff. And I'm like, no, the reality is, step one, make content, do this. This is what I need to do. Don't overthink it, just go. Um, so again, very common thing for us all to do. So if you are someone, again, who overthinks things or has a lot of anxiety, try the other way. Jump right in. Don't be afraid to screw up. And then take it as it comes. Learn as you go. You're only gonna learn by doing. And reality is the less planning and the more action you take and the more mistakes you make and take, you are gonna learn even quicker and progress even quicker along your goals. Man, I was getting ready to pause because my little dog I was getting ready to bark because I could hear my neighbors coming back in, bringing their dog back in. So, uh, But nonetheless, thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, please like the video, subscribe. Uh, my goal here is to grow my channel. Yes, of course, for myself. But more importantly, I know that this is what I'm meant to do in life. And some of the words and experiences I've had in my life can really offer value to a lot of people. And the only way that we're able to reach more people is through the YouTube algorithm. And we increase that and get the videos going by liking, subscribing, commenting, interacting. You know how it goes. Uh, so nonetheless, if it was valuable, I appreciate you. You have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you for the next video.